through this opera there are lyrics and so Mark has um, illustrated those lyrics through movement um, so there's a lot of um, you know to the gods is up and my love is through heart here so there are a lot of there are a lot of um, similarities and how we show affection physically that will illustrate the lyrics of the opera it's a very simple piece right so you have these basic elements of good and evil and love and desire and death and um, they're, they're maintained, the symbolism of each of those things is maintained throughout and then there's this beautiful music that's there telling the story. The most challenging for this dance uh, is the two-dimensionality. Um, there's a lot of side profile facings that Mark wants us to have and that takes a little bit of a different toll physically on the body but um, it's also something to, you know, that inner struggle of how to find a two-dimensionality in a character also, um, but also being able to portray physically the dance uh, and the lyrics and the through the movement. Getting, um, getting into Dido's, the formality of Dido's movement is probably the hardest thing. Um, there's so much twisting, there's so much maintaining those twists for really long periods of time, so finding a way to make that twist and that position feel natural, even though it's terribly not so. Dido is, um, a lot of her movements are very formal, twisted, archaic, and flat. Um, so she, her, maybe her essence is restraint. And because the uh, movements are so challenging to execute, that allows you to feel that restraint. You feel restrained because it's hard to do, maybe. And then the sorceress, um, you know, there's a physical change in that the hair comes down. And you could say that was how physically you change as well. Sort of like everything loosens up, um, a little bit crasser, maybe more masculine. And so there's a lot of a lot of elements in the story, like I said, the passion, and the love, and the betrayal, the obedience, uh, the heartbreak that we all have experienced or have seen is very well portrayed. Hope you've enjoyed this talk about Dido and Aeneas. Uh, we would love to see you there and to support us and have you there cheering us on, but also mostly to feel the vibrance of the performers in the audience. <laughs>